subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. In today's video we will discuss about, AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam. The most popular cloud certification today is no doubt AWS Cloud Practitioner. As this certification enables, you to not only understand the basics of cloud computing, but also what you can do with cloud technology. The certification may be an entry-level certification, but it offers you to become a capable cloud professional, and proficient enough to build quality, and high-tech solutions, and products. The Cloud Practitioner Exam is also a recommended prerequisite for more advanced-level AWS certifications. If you are preparing, or thinking of taking the AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam, this study guide will help you in planning your learning path, and practice well in order to ace the exam. Let us focus on exam objectives and exam types. Number 1. Exam Objectives The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner tests the candidates on their basic knowledge of the AWS platform, which includes the following. First, explain the value of the AWS Cloud. Second, understand and explain the AWS Shared Responsibility Model. Third, understand AWS Cloud Security Best Practices. Fourth, Understand AWS Cloud Costs, Economics, and Billing Practices. Fifth, Describe and position the core AWS services, including Compute, Network, Databases, and Storage. Sixth, Identify AWS services for common use cases. Number 2, Exam Types. There are two types of questions on the examination. 1. Multiple Choice, the type of question which has one correct response, and three incorrect responses. 2. Multiple response, the type of question which has two, or more correct responses out of five or more options. Unanswered questions are scored as incorrect, there is no penalty for guessing. Now we will see the domains under Cloud Practitioner Exam. Domain 1, Cloud Concepts which consist of 26% weightage in the exam. Domain 2, Security and Compliance which consist of 26% weightage in the exam. Domain 3, Technology which consist of 33% weightage in the exam. Domain 4, Billing and Pricing which consist of 16% weightage in the exam. Now we will discuss about, Learning Path to Pass AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam. Step 1, Learning. To start the learning process you can start with enrolling for the AWS Free Digital Training which will lay a solid foundation for your AWS skills. The Free Digital Training. AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials can be accessed in the link given in the description box. You can follow the path laid out here. First, Introduction to AWS and the Interface. Start with learning about the basic cloud computing services, concepts in the AWS interface. You can start with making an AWS's free tier account. Second, Core AWS Services. You will start learning about the following core AWS services. Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute, which is, EC2, Amazon Elastic Block Store, which is, EBS, Amazon Simple Storage Service, which is, S3, Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, which is, VPC, and Security Groups. Amazon EC2 Amazon EC2 is the virtual application server provider which are known as instances, to host your web application, or website. Amazon EC2 gives you the ability to scale up your computing capacity. Amazon EBS Amazon EBS is not so difficult to use, but high-performance block storage which has been designed to be used with Amazon EC2 for intensive workloads at any scale. Amazon S3 Amazon Simple Storage as the name tells is a cloud storage service by AWS. It provides secure, durable, and highly scalable cloud storage making web-based high-scale computing easier for developers. Amazon VPC Amazon VPC is a virtual network service to make you able in launching AWS resources into a your own virtual network. Closely resembling your at-premise network the benefit it brings is the scalability of infrastructure of AWS. Third, AWS Integrated Services. You will proceed to learn about some of the integrated services that are part of the AWS cloud. Load Balancing. Elastic Load Balancing is used to handle network traffic workloads. It distributes incoming network traffic across multiple targets, such as Amazon EC2 instances, containers, and IP addresses. Auto-scaling In events of surge in traffic, or demands auto-scaling helps you to automatically scale up, 
or down the number of compute resources needed for your application at any given time. Amazon Route 53 The main functions of Amazon Route 53 are, domain registration, DNS routing, and health checking. Used separately, or in any combination. Amazon RDS Easily scale, operate, and set up relational databases with Amazon RDS. AWS Lamba a serverless computing service lets you execute a code to automate the scaling as per the need. Other important integrated services AWS Elastic Beanstalk Amazon Simple Notification Service Amazon CloudWatch Amazon CloudFront and AWS CloudFormation Fourth, AWS Architecture There are five pillars of a good architecture. Operational Excellence Security Reliability performance efficiency cost optimization it is important to know the practice of implementing well architected framework in AWS fifth AWS security AWS security provides services that help you protect your data accounts and workloads from unauthorized access sixth AWS pricing security AWS offers you a pay-as-you-go approach for pricing for over 160 cloud services with AWS, you pay only for the individual services you need, for as long as you use them, and without requiring long-term contracts, or complex licensing. Step 2. White Papers Now as you have finished your lessons, it is time to practice your learning with use cases, hands-on exercises, and not to forget go through the AWS White Papers which includes Overview Cloud Best Practices AWS Pricing Support Plans Step 3. Practice Now before finally sitting in the exam it is essential to take practice tests to check your learning so far, and polish those skills. This step is very crucial because it forces you into the actual scenario of giving an exam, and here you can find out about your weaknesses. You can go back to the learning stage to revise anything you feel you have no solid grasp. The link for the free practice test is given in the description box. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.